Well, it's another beautiful day across the area for this time in February. Believe it or not, these highs normally should be around 52 degrees. As you can see, we're still tracking far above average temperature 65 for this afternoon. Thanks to those breezy south winds 10 to 25 miles per hour. A little bit more cloud coverage. However, it's mainly those high serious clouds are very, very thin. So we're still seeing a lot of sunshine coming through. That's what's keeping those temperatures pretty high up there. The strong winds will continue late tonight into the overnight hours. So it is going to be a warm start to your uh, Thursday morning, but also this. 9 a.m. These are the we could see wind gusts up to 30, 35 miles per hour in some locations. And then as we go throughout your day, Thursday will slowly start to not only get rid of some of that cloud coverage, but the winds will slowly start to die down as well. Another thing we're looking at here late hours on Thursday, we have a very slight chance to see some light isolated showers. So we can't rule that out. As you can see, this will be through the overnight hours. Here's about 2 a.m. Still showing some maybe from Bristow further towards Coffeeville. So don't be surprised if you're driving late tonight, maybe just that nine o'clock hour through the overnight hours and you see some of that. Good news, though, it shouldn't last all day. That means the majority of your Thursday, even on into Friday, should be dry. And even as you see here, by Thursday afternoon, we're seeing the cloud coverage moving out of the area. And then we have strong southwest winds. That's going to continue to be pretty breezy. But good news on that, it's also going to keep us nice and warm. Here you go, 53 degrees Thursday morning. This is our average high for this time of year with that cloud coverage. But by the afternoon, those strong southwest winds continue. That's what's going to help those temperatures climb in the lower 70s. And we're going to keep that trend as we go into your Friday. So gorgeous, gorgeous day here in the next few days. Far above average for this time of year, but hopefully you can take advantage. Because unfortunately, as we go into this weekend, we do see an increase in some rain chances, mainly Saturday night, Sunday, and very on and off showers. And then Sunday night into Monday with perfect conditions pretty much for your Super Bowl Sunday to stay inside because it's also going to drop those temperatures into the lower 40s. We'll keep a close eye on Sunday night into Monday as temperatures will be borderline.